Okay, this how-to video is going to go through the various methods of uh, how to annotate your parts inside of AllCAD Capture and Capture CIS. So there's a few methods to go through, so we'll just go through the ones uh, one by one. So traditionally when you place parts, um, you can either have them placed uh, with uh, just a question mark. So if I look at kind of my design here, I've got U question mark, U question mark, U question mark. So um, an R question mark, C question mark, etc. So you can then run an annotate command. This is controlled if we go to the uh, the options and preferences, miscellaneous tab, there's an auto reference command. So if you have this unchecked, effectively it will just give you all the question marks. If you have it uh, checked, it would then place them automatically. So R1, R2, R3, R4, etc. from top right, left to bottom right as you place the parts. So that's one option. Um, if the parts are placed with the question mark, what you can do is you can just double click the reference designator and we can actually come in and manually just add a value here. That would effectively give us a U1C. This has got an underscore, which means it's a user assigned reference designator. So when I run things like the annotate command, so tools and annotate, there is a preserve uh, user assigned valid reference designator. So it wouldn't affect these if you wanted to do that. Um, so that's the next method. Let's just do a control Z to undo that. Obviously the, the next method is an automated process. So we could go to the tools and annotate command and run some default options here. So there's things like do an incremental reference designator, which would just effectively uh, reference from top left to bottom right. And you have the default options here. You can do an unconditional, which will just effectively, whatever there is, it will just start again and renumber everything. The mode is kind of key. I would always use the preferred mode. So I've got an occurrence based design. Um, if I've got an instance based design, it would be preferred and just make sure that that's the preferred option. And then you've got some, some physical packaging and additionally from any file. So these are some uh, property strings that it uses. So it looks for things like power group, source package value. And uh, I've got a property called hetero when I'm grouping uh, multi-section parts together. There's some default options at the bottom as well. So I could then just click OK and it would then go and annotate the design. There is some ref desk control options. So you can actually uh, control it based on the hierarchy. So pick a hierarchical block and give it a start and end value. But um, a slightly better way to do it is use probably the advanced annotation command. So we'll just click on that. And I get a slightly different form here. So I can either do this on a design level or a property block. So if I was to pick a property, for example, let's go and look for a property called room. And we'll load that. So effectively, I've got um, five rooms in my design, one called channel one, channel two, RF amp, bottom mem and mem. And what I could do is say, if any parts that have this property have room on, let's enable the room, I could do an autofill prefix. And so it tells me that effectively I've got four capacitors, one connector, three inductors, two resistors, and three ICs. And I could give start and end values for all of these. And that would affect effectively for channel one, then you could do something for channel two, channel three, channel four, etc. So that's that's one method. Another method is to use the design hierarchy. So I've got my hierarchical levels, same <coughs> matching my project window here and I could then control the reference designator as I want. So um, if I was to select something like the design, I could do an autofill prefix. It would give me a list of all the reference designators um, in my design. So effectively I've got 213 capacitors, two data blocks, one DDS, J's, etc. So every single reference designator are possible and I could control it that way. Let's just delete all here. I could also just select the design level and just add a row myself. So let's just say maybe I'm, what I'm interested in here is the is the use so the ICs. Uh, we'll do uh, auto fill. No, let's not do that. We'll add a row <coughs> for you. Um, and when I hit the tab key, effectively it gives me I've got 54 ICs in this design because I selected the design level. So I might want to start at say 200 going up to. Um, let's say 300. So I've got 100 uh, options here to cover my ICs. So that would then, I label all of my ICs U, U201, 202, 203, 204, etc. I could also add um, another option. So let's go and maybe select the, the, the output block. Let's uh, make sure we say yes to apply the change. So remember to hit apply button. So I now pick the DAMP block. Uh, I'm going to add a row here. Let's, let's pick U again and hit the tab key. So this has got three instances. So I'm going to start this one at say 500 going to 510 and then we'll hit apply. That adds that instance for the DAMP output. Uh, we'll do the same for DAMP2. So we'll add a row. Pick U. Let's do uh, 900 to 910 
and we'll hit apply there. So what that does is that effectively, so any of my, my design is going to use effectively U200 to 200 to 300, except for these two deamp blocks where it's going to do, uh, so deamp one is going to be 500 onwards and deamp two is going to be 900 onwards. I'll leave the default options here. So the action is going to be, we'll just do a, an unconditional, uh, we'll leave the rest of the options as they are. We need to obviously enable the design tree. So I'm going to enable the design tree to work all the way through the design and I'm going to click on annotate. So obviously U227, U228, let's just go across a little bit forward, U229, let's look at maybe the high speed memory page. So I've got 218, 219, so it's following that 200 series that we went went through. Let's go to the outputs of the deamp, so deamp 1, we'll zoom in here. So we've got 500, 501, and 502, and if we look at deamp 2, Zoom in, uh, 900, 901, 902. So it's following the system of, of what you've defined in the uh, advanced annotation command. This is just kind of a, a brief overview of how to use the advanced annotation command, but it might be worthwhile kind of getting this to, to annotate the commands and the parts that you want in your designs going forward.